Hey guys, it's Crystal Lee Moore Lucier here, also known as your home sweet home 519 realtor. Crystal Lee Moore, and I'm here to talk to you about dreaming of your own piece of paradise. So we've probably all been there. You go on vacation and you have the best time ever. You're relaxed, you love it so, so much, but then reality starts to set in and you start counting the days before you have to leave. You're packing up and you come home to a place that you're supposed to love, but you kind of just wish you were still on vacation. You're not alone. We've all been there. So here's the thing. COVID really changed a lot of things, but one of the most popular things that's happening now when people have a second home is they are using that second home as their main home and selling the main home. And a lot of the times that has to do with, can you work from home? Can you work part time? It really depends on your lifestyle, but it's no longer impossible to work from this beautiful location and vacation homes as primary residences are really, really picking up. So what can we do if you're kind of thinking about it and you're not sure? And I'm sure we all know people that have done it and they're sharing all of their experiences on Facebook and Instagram and it looks amazing, but we're like, how could we ever do that? Let's tell you how. So first of all, the first question you have to ask is would a vacation home fit into my lifestyle? Like how would that work? If for example, you need to be in the office two or three days a week, it might not work. But it also could, if those two or three days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then you could have kind of a four day weekend at the vacation home. So just it, think about it. Um, and what about the future? What, what does that look like? So a lot of the times, um, especially post COVID, a lot of us are thinking of kind of life shaping and career shaping so that we wake up just happy and energized every day and it is making a difference in our mental health. It's better. So whatever that looks like, we can also talk about how you make your primary residence feel like a vacation home, but that's not this video. Uh, the other thing to do is to research dream locations, including local laws and services, amenities. So we have a lot of, I know a lot of people that have moved kind of down to Costa Rica or to Florida, uh, Mexico. And what you can also do if you're kind of thinking about it is check Facebook groups. So I know for Mexico, there's an entire expat group of people that can answer questions, let, the, let you know, like, what would that look like to move down? And same thing, like if you're looking for, as a Canadian to move to Florida, there's an entire groups out there that are full of people happy to answer your questions. And some of them are going to be legitimate questions, like depending on where you live, what's the internet like? And what would tax look like? How do you earn money? If you wanted to get a second job, is that possible? So it's kind of things that you wanna make sure that you're finding out what the questions are and then finding out what the answers are. Then we have discussing financing options and tax implications with a professional. So we can put you in touch with the different lenders and different financial institutions that can help with purchases if you're looking to go into another country or overseas. Uh, but also if you're just looking here, like what does that look like to have the two homes or to sell one? And we can connect you with accountants and lenders and lawyers and everyone that you need. And these are all people that we know. So it's, it's nice to know that we have trusted people you don't have to just kind of go googling and, and hope for the best and then consider and compare other locations so you might have it in your mind because you saw a friend move to Costa Rica and it was it looked so cool but maybe there's other places that would be better for you so it is a big deal to make sure uh, make sure it works because the one thing and this is kind of important across the board living somewhere is going to be different than vacationing somewhere, right? So when you're on vacation, every day is a, an amazing vacation and it's relaxing and there's no work and everything. But if you're living there day by day, what does that look like? How are you going to, is it easy to go and meet friends? Are there, is it safe at night? Um, are there different locations that might be more expensive but might be better or could you get a deal if you connected with some locals first and found out about the local real estate market. So lots of questions to ask. And the other thing is if you're looking for a vacation home, so you're just not ready to let go of your home, but you do want another kind of, maybe a cottage, maybe it's not a cottage, maybe it's a beach home, something where it's a little piece of your home that you can go to and escape. Um, 
whatever your personal brand of awesome is, we can help. So I'm Crystal Lee Moore Lucier, also known as your home sweet home 509 realtor. Crystal Lee Moore, I'm happy you're here and I can't wait to connect. Bye.